Hey YouTubers, if you're in your Tesla and your cabin camera, this little camera up here is not working, maybe a software glitch and you can reset the camera if you need to. Um, if your camera's not working, you won't be able to use your autopilot correctly because this camera has to be able to look at you while you're driving to make sure you're paying good attention. So if you have to reset it, what you can do is come down to this little icon, press that one, and then you come over to this screen, come down to where it says software, press that one, and then come over to where it says uh, model three, and you're gonna just keep your finger on there for about 10 seconds. Just press in on that. When you release it, it'll give you this screen. You want to put in an access code. We're going to type in the word service. So you don't want to do this. Uh, once you're in the service mode, don't press anything except the instructions here because you could mess up um, other parts of your software. So we're just going to press in the word service. And we only want to do what's necessary to get this camera working. So we got the word service in there. We press OK. So again, it warns you, uh, just be careful. You're not going to do anything other than these instructions. So I'll press enter. And I want to go to this one that says driver assist. So I'm going to press that one. And then where it says cameras, I'm going to press that one. And it's showing all these cameras. This is the interior camera right here. Yours might be red. I just reset this, so, but it could be showing as red, which means it's just not sensing it or there's something wrong with the software. So what we wanna do is press this one that says reset DAS. That's the driver assist, assist system. So we're gonna press that. And then it says, hold the right turn signal in the active position and press down on your brake pedal for eight seconds. So come over to your stock here. You're gonna push this up like you're making a right turn, but just keep holding it up while you're pressing down on your brake pedal. So I'm gonna press the brake pedal first. Then I'm going to push this up for eight seconds. You can look at the screen. It's going to count for you. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and turn my turn signal back down. So I want to press this one that says reset the driver assist, assistance system. Press that one. And it says the test resets the driver assistance system ECU using the controller area network CAN bus. So I'm going to run that to reset it. It says it su successfully did a hard reset of the DAS. And now I don't need to rerun it. I'm just going to press close. Press close. And then um, if, you, if you look at it and you have the red screen, or the red button that means it's not sensing your cabin camera so we're going to reset it we're going to press reset DAS we're going to rerun the reset run it again Okay, I'm going to close out of this one. So if you look at it and you see, yeah, nothing there or green, if it shows green, that means your camera is working. So now our camera cabin is working. So to get out of this system, we're just going to hold this button right here for about five seconds. We're back. 
So if you want to test to make sure that your cabin camera is working now, again, you can come to this one, press it, and go to software, press that, and press this one, model three for about five seconds, just press in. One, two, three, four, five. And we come off as the screen and we're gonna type in the access code as the word service. We're gonna press okay. So it warns you don't uh, mess with this because you could alter your software. But if you follow these instructions, just, just the things we're mentioning in the video, you'll be okay. So we're gonna press enter. We wanna to go to this one up here, it says driver assist. We're gonna to go to cameras. And if your cabin camera is working, you should see a green button right here. And then just give, you, give it a little time for it to do all the resets here. You should see these cameras turn green. Just takes a moment. They're doing calibration testing. And then if I do camera preview, hopefully I'll be able to see the cabin camera now. takes a sec yeah so the cabin camera is working again so that hopefully that will help you guys get yours back online once you've verified your cameras working you can press this little X up here and then you can press this one for about five seconds this little red button and you're back out so hopefully that'll get your camera up here working again resets its software and you'll be able to use your autopilot again. All right, so thanks so much for watching our video and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance and also click the little bell notification button so we can send you uh, weekly videos on all the different ways of fixing appliances around your home and saving you lots of money. So thanks again for watching and please also press the like button for our video if this was helpful to you. Way to contact me at the email listed below which has got the fixit guy at yahoo.com with any of your questions.